Monroe County Animal Shelter facing possible budget cuts, which would ultimately shut down the shelter. On top of that, because animal control uses the same budget, its funding would also be entirely cut. WAT6 on your side reporter Christy Crawford talking with a group who works side by side with the shelter tells us how its closing would impact the entire Monroe County community. Monroe County Animal Control receives about 8 to 10 calls a day. If the current budget proposal passes, there would be no animal control and nowhere to take stray animals. When they first opened up the shelter, there were stray animals all over the streets of this county everywhere. When I when I moved down here to Tennessee, there was a stray dog at the entrance of our development every other day and so on. You no longer see that. Jim Barrett, president of Monroe County Friends of Animals, says his organization was created around the same time as the Monroe County Animal Shelter back in 2004. The nonprofit funds about one third of the shelter's budget, helping with food and vet costs. Barrett says that because of the work the shelter and his group have done, they actually received fewer strays. We have a sister organization that hands out vouchers for spay and neuter operations to people of limited means. They're folding into our organization. So the, so the number of animals that is coming into this shelter here has gone from 5,000 to 2,000 a year. Barrett says the county wants his organization to take over the shelter, but as a nonprofit, that's not in the cards. He's in talks with the county commission about changing their decision to cut the shelter's budget, but he's skeptical anything will change. Our organization, of course, is really interested in saving the animals and all that, but there's another aspect of this that's a quality of life issue for the community. And we'd like them to reconsider this action. Reporting in Monroe County, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6, on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you. The Monroe County Commission will meet again, by the way, this upcoming Monday to work more on the budget. The scheduled date to vote on next year's budget is June 23rd.